So, the internet's directions are, for every one fourth cup of warm water, which I need to get it just enough so his little feet will soak, which honestly, that is enough. Because once you put him in, you know, the water is gonna rise and I don't need it to be but so much more than that. All right, so that was two of the one fourth. So that means I'm gonna be doing two of the Epson. So they say, chopstick, stir it around, let it disintegrate in there. And then I'll get my other one. I'm probably not gonna do the whole one. Just mix it in and let it dissolve in there. All right, so now I'm just mixing up a little bit of critical care. And this is merely just to try to keep him still in the bath for as long as I can. Cause I can never really get them to soak for as long as like the directions say, you know, they say like five to eight, to 10 minutes. And I just kind of go as long as they'll let me. I won't be feeding all of these to him. Some of these will be for Alexis. All right, all the things. Carrot, a little bit of critical care, our soak, and then grab a little towel. Joshy, towel please. Oh, that's a that's a washcloth. I need like a like a towel. Perfect. All right, patient. As in my patient. Are you ready? I've got all of the things to try to keep you in there as long as possible. We're gonna put a haystack here. Maybe you want to nibble on that. Anything to keep you in here? Hi, handsome. I know. Toesies in there and choke. Look, there's there's the hay. Do you want that hay? Or do you want this? Yeah. All right, so away we soak. Set a timer for five minutes. And this is mostly a waiting game. So, you know, Epsom salt helps with inflammation and Figgy has inflamed foot pads. He just always has had that issue. It's not necessarily bumblefoot, but it's like along the same lines, if you will. It, they call it pododermatitis. Often known as bumblefoot is an extremely painful infection in the foot pad. The foot pad is swollen and may be crusted and or bleeding in severe cases. The guinea pig may be reluctant to move, depressed and anorexic. So Biggie doesn't have an extreme case. It's a very mild, okay, so see, this is why I have all these other things because once this gets to this point, it, he drops it in there and then I find that to be very gross. So we move on. Now we're moving on to critical care. Whereas I normally would shoot the critical care in fast, I'm doing it slow as to just keep him working for it, entertained, and yet again, still in his soak. He's been in for four minutes? Yes. Okay, good. I'm like, he's getting bored of everything. So now he doesn't want the rest of the critical care. He doesn't care about this hay. And he's, as you can see, he's ready to get out. But um, we're just gonna go a little bit longer if you'll let me. Just go as long as you'll let me. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. How often do you do this to him? I probably should be doing it more. I do it like once a week, once every other week, but I should probably be doing it like twice a week. After this month, which is May, I will mostly be retired from residential cleaning, so I will have more time. Oh, 
here's your he did not like the timer so i will be able to have more time to do it more often and hopefully step up my game to help out my babe right help out my babe watch how much he loves ear rubs ready yeah that's my good boy you think you're done we done you did a pretty good job we're like over five minutes now. I'm so proud of you. You know who's probably not going to do this well is David. He's not as patient as you. All right, so let's get him his towel to dry him off. You're so good. Come on out. Get him on a towel. Here's the rest of your carrot. Here's the rest of your carrot. You getting mama wet? You are. Let's put this underneath of me. So now I'm just gonna dry him off a little bit on this towel. He's not too, too wet, so he probably doesn't need to be like blow dried. We do like to get him a nice dry towel. Get the rest of the carrot. Yes, it's a good boy. That's a good boy. So I'm gonna snuggle Figgy while Josh lets Tonka out because she needs to go outside. And our dog can't go outside without assistance. So when Josh comes back, we'll have David on the table, <laughs> on the table. So we just end with a little bit of Aquaphor just to help with his little dryness. And kisses, and kisses because we're so sweet and we're so good. I just love this guinea pig so much. So he's the only one I've had since he was a baby. Just a little, little baby. Yeah, mommy's baby. He's so yummy. His belly's already dry. Yeah, already got a dry belly. Thank you for being such a good patient. And that sack, that he is a normal. If you're wondering what that is. It is it's this part of me now. Good, good boy. All right, so I'm going to go clean this out. And start over and give David a fresh bath water. All right, guinea pig number two. Where are you, guinea pig? Guinea pig number two. Where the David is. There's a baby. There's no David here. Oh, he's right in front of me. In this thing? So then if we need to switch because that's the view I need to catch him. Hey, buddy. Did you have a long day? I know. You got to see your favorite dog, Miller. Miller got to give you a kiss. Yeah. Okay. Here comes Mama's. And I'm going to scoop your butt on the way out. Come here. And like Flynn. Ready? No, no, no. All feet are in. Okay. And we're not going to pull it away from it. Dad, set the timer. Set the timer for five minutes. Oh my God, his front feet are out. Little booger. I need your feet in. I mean, his biggest issue is with his back feet, so it's really, it's okay. He doesn't have that much of an issue with his front feet, but... I I would like for you to soak all of your toes and your bits, okay? Look, I'll make it easier right there. Good boy. Look at his little grape holder. I'd balance a grape on it, but I didn't think it would be distracting for you, sir. You're being very polite. As always, do your own research when it comes to bumblefoot and like just different infections in general with the feet, because it's going to be different for every guinea pig. Like the severity of it, the diagnosis of it might be different. This is like something my vet told me to do. And I have medications from the vet for their feet. This is specifically for David and I have 
these pads that are specifically for Figgy, their situations are a little different. If you notice that you have piggies that have issues with the bottom of their feet or some, anything looks different with the bottom of their feet. They look swollen, they look dry, they have calluses on them that they can get. You know, take your guinea pig to the vet, have your vet decide what the course of action should be for your guinea pig because it could be very different for what I am doing for mine. So again, take your guinea pig to the vet, let them tell you what is best for your pig because I don't want anyone diagnosing their guinea pig based off what I'm doing. Cause again, that might not be what your guinea pig needs. Are we getting close to the end of the carrot? Ah, no, don't drop it in there. Get back. We need it for the drying. <laughs> what is my time check? It's uh, one minute and 50 seconds. Okay. I'm gonna like, chop it in a lot faster than I would have liked to. Oops. And look, there's this yummy hay. You want that? No? Okay. You want this instead? Okay. We'll go slow. I went too fast this time. Oh my God, can you see your reflection in the camera, David? Good, good boy. Does anybody else like to talk to their guinea pig as their dog and say, good dog? I do, because I just look at them as dogs. He's a good dog, my good dog. Yeah, I'm a good dog. Yeah, he's a good doggy. David thinks he's a dog. Yeah, I am a doggy. I got best doggy friends that I go to see at the vet. His name's Miller and we love each other. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any interest in this to keep you in just a little bit longer? That's a negative, negator. All right. Is the timer gonna scare him? Congrats. You did it, buddy. You did a good job. I'm kind of just letting you stay in there until you decide to pop out because there's no sense in forcing you out when you're doing such a good job. All right, there it is. There's my exit. Let's wrap you. Hold on. Let's give you this. That's my drying. No, 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 no. Drying carrot. Eat your drying carrot. I call it, well, it's the nub. Like, I can't let them eat. They drop it in there when it gets short, but it's perfect for the drying portion. I love my posture right now. I'm like, <laughs> but that's what we do, right? We make snuggy nuggies. We make snuggy little nuggies while we dry. Yeah, get that carrot. Get that carrot. Well, thanks friends for joining us for our little foot soak, foot bath, foot care routine, if you will. Remember to check your guinea pig's feet during their health checks and we'll see you next time.